Thank you so much for finding time to come during this final journey of our brother that we are going to lay here today to rest. Yagarama have worked with him from 2013 when we were first elected to, uh, was elected to parliament and he was also elected as governor Nyamira. I've worked with him for the last eight years. Nimse ambao nilikuwa na ishimu, ni kiongozi ambao tulikuwa tume, um, ni kiongozi ambayo tumepotesa kama sisi watu wa Nyamira and kisi kwa chumra. Kwa hivyo watu wa Nyamira, familia ya mzee, najua sisi wote, we will miss this mse and it was a very wonderful, very wonderful mse as a governor uh, wetu wa Nyamira. Mwishimiwa Amos Nyaribo, the one who is now going to take over from Mwishimiwa uh, Governor Nyagarama. We want to undertake, as we did yesterday, we will work with you, we will support you, and make sure that for this remaining period, you deliver exactly as you had planned with Mwishimiwa uh, Governor before he left. Your Excellency, uh, the Prime Minister, I want to confirm to you here that the last public function that Mse attended, it was a function where we were launching the signing of the signatures for the PPI. That was on the 27th November this year. You, as you know, Your Excellency, with your brother, uh, the, uh, His Excellency the President, you nominated me to be in charge of BPI in this region. Therefore, on that day, Your Excellency, I came to Nyamira, Your Excellency, and uh, Mushimua governor. I didn't know that I was going to see him alive for the last time. He insisted that I go and pick him from his house, and I did exactly that. When I picked him from his house, and we drove together to, to Huru Gardens, where he appended his signature as a supporter of PPI. Your Excellency, uh, we will as a team, and I can tell you when you nominated me to be in charge of BPI in this region, our work will work as signatures Kutosha, and we will support it, Your Excellency. Some of my friends here, Jana Tulisema, uh, as Nyamira people, we were not going to talk politics here. Lakini kwa sababu wengine wa mengea juu ya hiyo hapa. We cannot get a constituency in Bobasi. We cannot get a constituency in Ugitutu Masaba. If we don't append our signature and support this document and say, and say we want these signatures here. Those who are making noise here, Your Excellency, did not even append their signatures. I can tell you because I'm the one in charge from this region. They never did it. They just come here to make noise. But I want to tell them and I want them that go and append your signatures. If indeed you want us, we want the fruits that you are talking about to come to this region. Finally, Your Excellency, I want to thank, in, I want to thank, I want to see I thank our son here. What we can see, the Ambatebi, Emoro Emre Mebunere, Iga, Mondo Taya, Orure No Enu Siri Ingia Yemo, Villa Tukwa Pasi Kujaleo. Our son, this one. Truly, he has made us proud as the people of Omokusi. And Your Excellency, the Right Honorable, I want to confirm to you here today that going forward, we will as a team follow this gentleman seated next to you here. And as Omokusi, we will follow him, and wherever you sit, Your Excellency, Pale mulaka pale ju include him akitulete maneno na sisi tunafuata nyinyi thank you and may god bless you be a monosan i only want to take this opportunity your excellence to thank you very much for uh, finding time to come and condole with us we also thank you the, the for mamaida yesterday we were with her with the family in Nairobi she condoled with us your excellence and we thank you very much for that i also want to take this opportunity to thank other leaders his Excellency the President, His Excellency the Deputy President, the WIPA Democratic Movement Leader Kalonso Msioka, Moses Wetangula, Ford Kenya, um, and uh, Amani National Congress uh, Leader Musari Mudavadi, who also condoled with the family 
we were in place to host them, and we want to thank them very much for finding time to condole with us. Uh, the deputy governor, Nyamira, who is to take over as the governor for Nyamira. Yesterday we, we were here, and we have assured you that as leaders from Nyamira, we will go extra mile to give you support so that you can take over for the remaining period. Be assured that we will work with you very closely so that you can be able to deliver for the remaining period. And I also want to, assist, to ask you most sincerely that as we go forward, you work very closely with the family of the late Honorable Nyagarama. Nyagarama, the governor, me have worked with him very closely. And as the host member of parliament, I can tell you as a matter of fact that Mse Nyagarama, Akwa Najua Kukasirika, he was always chofio, he never wronged anybody, and if he wronged anybody, he would always apologize. And as you know, those ones of you know, Mse Nyagarama in a public function, he was a man of very towards. I remember, I can, I, can, I can be correct, and some of you can attest with me, that there is no open or public function that I've attended where the Honorable Punyakarama has spoken for more than three minutes. That one I can attest. So as we, we uh, eulogize him this, uh, this afternoon, I want to ask you most sincerely to remember the family in prayers. We stand with you, the family, and we will always uh, be there to comfort you. And I may I take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for finding time to come and condole with us. For those many remarks, I want to get back the program to Senator to proceed. Asante sana. Thank you, Asante. Uh, I would have loved that we go through the tune of Dr. Samuel, uh, Dr. Samuel, who preached to us today on the need to maintain a peaceful order in this funeral. Why do I say so? God is a God of order. God is a peaceable God. Even when Jesus went to cry and mourn his friend Lazarus and met the sister Naomi and mother and, uh, es and uh, ma ma mother and Mary when he went to the graveside, Jesus wept. I think the shortest verse in the Bible, John 11 verse 35, Jesus wept. Even him, as our God, he wept. This is what we have come to do here, Naomi, to weep with you, like our master wept with you, wept with his friends. We are Nyagarama's friends, we want to weep with you and with the family and condone with you. Because Nyagarama was not a simple man. He was an epitome of humility. If you have sampled humility in mankind, he was one such person who was so humane, so humble. Even when you interacted with him politically, he did not show you that harshness of politics. He showed you the politics of humane humility. And that's the man we've come to mourn. So we brought the messages of goodwill to your family, to the community and the people of Nyamira, and to the Kenyans. And I dare say at this moment that I've yet to see a funeral of this magnitude where the head of state is involved, the party boss of ODM, the Right Honorable Prime Minister is involved, the entire government machinery is involved. For me, this is an indication of goodwill and peace and tolerance towards us. And let's not squander away this opportunity that has been brought by Nyagarama, the late Nyagarama himself. If there was a testimony, he has already preached to us through what has happened today. 
And through the clergy, through what I've seen here, he has already witnessed for us. We need to follow. I would like one day to say, Mama Naomi, that in fact, if you read Isaiah 26 verse 3, the Lord says, he'll keep in perfect peace. He'll keep you in perfect peace. And this is what we want to bring to you. Let the Lord keep you in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts you. Let the mind of the Lord stay on you and your family and the people of Nyamira and the Kenyans because we trust in the Lord. I would like one day to say to your family, this is the biggest thorn of flesh that you've inherited. The vacancy that has been created. Like Paul, three times Paul said, I want to die. But God came through and said, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. That's 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 and verse 10. This is what we've come for. I know ya kaisari ni ya kaisari. Na hiyo ya kaisari itakuwa inche ya yema hii. Iwe ni mamba ya BBI, iwe ni mamba ya siyasa ya kufrutana, na kuzumusa mamu mengine, hiyo kiwanja hiko inche. Sio kwa ukumbi huu. So I really want to end my speech there. I'm ready for the BBI outside this hema. Very ready. And we know which direction we're going. I shall not dilate on these issues now. But we are ready to face the future with a clear mind. And uh, right honorable prime minister, with your brother, the president, Uhuru Kenyatta, the handshake is a God-given gift to Kenyans. You stretch the hand of peace. Na inuwa ba kusiawa, yamba tebi gintekemo, kumuranje, na basa roile. Rerot yoto sige nyarama, maambia mangananda wa tokea, uchibo ano, mwarigiri umano yonunarega amatiani. Tuanyori rekuri. God bless you. On behalf of the Fraternity of Nyamira, C.S. Matiang, I was requested by the people of Nyamira to sincerely thank you for having spoken with Excellence the President, who has accorded our Governor a state funeral. And we also want to thank all the visitors who have come to say Paul at was, led by His Excellency Raira Odinga, all the governors led by Governor Oparanya, our Chief Justice, and all the guests, Asante Nisan. To the incoming Governor Amos Mze, wanted to bring unity to this county of Nyamira. We hope as you assume that office, you will keep us united, and please, Linda, Hao toto wa mzee nyagarama ambaya melala. Nisa manganande, maete mzee neto inonaka montaka ngaini. Umuano yo kuro kuosoro maete taraso ma bibi ya yo buya. Kera ya aso waketo manyete. Njewuna ango so mabu ango. Na aroje nga nyamira deli yute wa di constituency. Nga kata mapema na matia ngina raira toka veke constituency. Ninche mwae ketaku yiki aso maale nge constituency nero ya nyamira. Endo soro chondo le. Kunya koga ambande na ende jengo mende yendo kuru wasi go chonda ra e ningora kia nse bine koga yenda mbi ama mweshimi wa ungwa e tafadali take over. Mzee Nyagarama came to school where I also was. He was much much older than us. Actually, when he came to high school, he was married. And Nyagarama used to refer to us yaba isi yaba iga. And we would all laugh, and he would laugh, he would laugh all the time. And indeed, for me, he didn't stop. Even when I was a, as a governor of Kisi County, 
he would come there and I'm the governor of that great county of Kisi and he would, he would tell me how much you are esaba gusi mure ga ga korenga mu understand tigo na ende ri gara go nte biya go nte ri abantu bari bane ndo monne sibare aba gusi ba ikiro ro bono limonga changa mote binga ga kyo tare ko ira ngoro mu wa komito nga kibono kwa kora ya e ki ara bono nche ga bana ga nyagarama for you a real great man and uh, we will all miss him i really don't want to talk more than that but I want to tell you, Mr. Deputy Governor and the Governor-designate, just do know that the Kisi County, your, your brothers and sisters, because what we have in the middle here is only an administrative boundary, but we are one people. We will support you, and you, you, during your immigration, you can be very sure that I'll come with the entire Kisi County Assembly and about half of them are in this room today. And on behalf of the 45 deputy governors, who, are not, who two of them are here, we want to bring our condolences to the family of Nyagarama and the people of Nyamira County. We have lost a great man. I've always prided myself that I had two governors, Governor Nyagarama and, the Nyaga and Governor Nguai. I have lost one but I'm lucky I still have the other. My brother, Nyeribo, the people of Nyamira are looking forward to leadership from you. I urge you, me and you have spoken to Myongea, please embrace that family. That's a wonderful family. Embrace the people who work with Nyagarama and the God will bless you, Asanteni. Please stand next to the mic. If you can stand uh, next to your brother, just stand next to your brother. If you can put a line, please. We'll start with the tallest of them all. Yeah, my name is Rasanga. <laughs> Governor Siaya. A friend to Nyangarama. And... Uh, a friend because we are alumni of Kisi High School. Nyarama was a friend. He came to visit me in Siaya on three occasions. I came to visit him on one occasion. And lately, as we were talking about us visiting each other, he said I had to come to Nyamira twice so that he would now come to see her again. The reason why he was coming to visit me was I was inviting him to come and help me build a local church. And what I can say, Poleni Sana Familia, what I can do for Nyangarama is that church where he goes to. I don't mind helping in raising funds because of Nyangarama. Asante oh, Thank you. Thank you very much, Governor. Please. I want to say that uh, as a neighbor, Nyamaraga, Nyama, 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 Nyamarama was a great man. <laughs> He was a great man. As Rasanga just put it, he visited us in Oma Bay twice. And I came here once. He is a great man, a leader, a visionary person. And one thing that our chairman will confirm here, and has been confirmed by everybody, he was a man of few words. But if he opened his mouth and said something, it carried weight and was volume. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Governor Wangamati, please. Mimi nimekuja hapa kwa niaba ya wakazi wa Bungoma County na kwa niaba yangu mimi mwenyewe. I've come here to say Paul to the family and confirm what I've heard here that Mzee was a man of few words. Na sisi kama kanzo of governors hasa sisi wenye 
bado tuko vijana kidogo we will miss his wisdom in the council of governors mimi nataka kuambia governor amos mwenye anakuja when you see a governor the people behind him is a very very big family please ensure that you are considerate so that to square na kelele mingi sana asanteni sana na mungu awabariki uh, thank, uh, thank you very much governor bachok kwani hapa yangu ya familia yangu na watu watu wa bomet county wacha chukue nafasi hii kuwasilisha risala setu sarambi rambi kwa familia ya wa departed colleague poleni sana kwa kupoteza kavana wenu watu wa nyamira i've lost a neighbor somebody who treated me kama mtoto wake every time we interacted alikuwa ananiongelesha kama mtoto wake and one lesson that i learned from him and i wish that all of us learn from him ni kupunguza maneno na tufanyie watu kazi poleni sana mungu awabariki thank you very much governor okoto bado migori I've come here to relay my heartfelt condolences and that of my family and the people of Migori to the Nyagaramas and generally to the people of Nyamira County. Allow me to observe that uh, the late governor, just as you have mentioned in this uh, booklet, was indeed a peacemaker and a great conflict resolution engine. Personally, he was my advisor. Kiswahili wanasema mshauri wangu. During my low times and even during my high times, he was there for me. Just as my colleague from Sierra said, on more than three occasions, the late Nyagarama visited, visited me in Migori. The first visit, he came to help me fundraise for a very, very noble project called Kuku Nipesa. It was a very successful fundraising meant to empower the women of Migori County. On the second occasion, I lost my mother-in-law and he was there for me. He was so close to the spiritual world. And I want to observe and tell this congregation that uh, twice the late Nyagarama came to help me fundraise for uh, some church buildings. One was in Migori East SDA, and the Arambe was very, very successful, and now they are almost putting their roof. In my own church, he sent a very powerful delegation. So personally, I shall dearly miss him. May his soul rest in peace. The governor for that great county of Vega. Kwa niaba yangu binafsi na watu wa Vega kwa jumla nimekuja hapa kuleta rambi rambi zetu kwa nduku wetu wa Nyamira kwa kumpoteza governor wenu ambao tulikuwa tumempenda sana. Mimi binafsi Nimekuwa rafiki wa karibu sana wa Nyagarama kwa vile anytime tukiwa na ga, governing council mara nyingi ukaa pa karibu na yeye kwa ushauri kwa hivyo mimi nimempoteza rafiki mkubwa na kwa niaba yangu binafsi na watu wa Vihiga nasema pole kwa familia na watu wa Nyamira Mungu ambariki I'm going to say two things one is about our brother Nyangarama. Sometimes in 2018, when we had just come from Kakamega, the Evolution Conference, we were in Acacia Hotel with James Ongwai and uh, Nyangarama. Ongwai came to me and told me that Governor Nyangarama wanted to talk to me uh, in his room. So we went along to his room and uh, we had a candid discussion within the governor. The governor said he wanted to consult me because he, like me, was suffering from prostate cancer. 
And since in 2010 I'd gone through the same thing, he wanted me to give him some advice what to do. And I assured him, Governor, prostate cancer is not a death sentence. Uh, something we must share, I will call my doctor in California, introduce you to him, we can talk to him on the phone, and you will go there and you will be treated. Because there's something about Kenyans which is awful, I must say. Kenyans like to gossip about people's sickness. It's a very bad manners. <laughs> sickness is natural. Diseases can be cured. And you can get well and live like anybody else. Governor Nyangarama went to this Helen Dilla Comprehensive Cancer Care Center, University of California, San Francisco, where I was treated. And he was treated by my doctor, Professor Mark Roche, a black American, who is the only authority in the world best known for treating prostate cancer. And when you are treated in that hospital, the last day you ring a bell, which is a signal that you are okay. And Professor Roche will tell you, you go out, no, you are treated. If you have any problem, come back and see me. Ngamana Nyangarama used to go back like I did. And I know that John Obiero Nyangarama was a very healthy man. Very frequently taking his medical examinations to make sure that nothing goes wrong and nothing went wrong. Professor Roach also told us that after I have dealt with you, you will die of any other disease but not prostate cancer. And therefore, when I heard that the governor had passed on, I was very pained because we share something in common. Maybe the season of God to harvest, but I am asking God, please go slow. It is becoming too much. This coronavirus thing is becoming too much. And let me say one last thing. When I was a kid in a Christian family, we used to be told that Jesus died and he conquered death. And he actually rose from the dead and flew to heaven on his wings. And my mother told me that those who are believers in Christ will also fly to heaven. So whenever somebody died in the village, I used to go there after two or three days and find out, has this man woken up and gone to heaven on his wings? I never saw anything like that. But here in this song, we find song telling us, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair, when the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll call is called yonder, I'll be there. Will I be there because I've flown there or because I've died? I think death is a very cruel thing which robbed us of love, love, love wonderful people like, like John. And I wish God was faithful enough just to give us wings and fly so that we don't go like this. In fact, I used to fear as a kid that when I woke up, I thought my mother was a very good Christian, might have flown at nine and got to heaven. But she never did. Finally, she passed on at the age of 99, and I hope she has flown to heaven, where we shall all go with John Nyangarama. Buona Yesu asifiwe. Mimi, kwa niaba yangu, kwa niaba ya familia yangu, na kwa niaba ya watu wa kakamega, kwa jumla, na kwa niaba ya baraza la magabani. Nataka nichukue furusa hii kuleta rambi rambi zetu kwa familia ya mweshimewa John Nyagarama na watu wa nyamira kwa jumla. Leo mumeona magovernance wa church tulianza safari hii ya kumusindikiza ndugu wetu Ijuma na wengi wa magavana tulikutana kule Nairobi live in roll home wengi walikuwa pale 
na pia siku iliyofuata wengi wao walikutana kule nyumbani kwake kule Karen tukakutana na mama na familia kwa sababu tuko karibu na siku kuu ya Christmas wengi hawangoweza kufika hapa na wengi wao wameleta rambi rambi zao wote tuko pamoja ningechukua nafasi hii pia kwa niaba ya baraza la magavana kusema ya kwamba tumempotesa mtu ambaye alikuwa wa nguvu kabisa katika vikao vyetu tukikifanya kazi ya counties mimi binafsi amekuwa rafiki wangu na vile mmejua mimi nilisomea hapa Kisi School kwa sababu nilisomea Kisi School wakati tulikutana katika Council of Governors tukawa marafiki na kila saa sisi ukaa pamoja wale ambao walisomea kule Kisi School tukiwa na bwana Jameson Ngwae bwana Rasanga na yeye na mimi tuko three four those who went through Kisi School as governors and that's an achievement through Kisi School na kwa sababu ya hiyo mimi nimekuja hapa saiti ya mara tatu lakini nakumbuka sana siku ya mwisho ambayo nilikuwa hapa nilikuwa nimealikwa na seneta wenu mkeni kuja kufanya arambe nimsaidie kanisa ka, kanisa fulani na nikasema siwezi kuja hapa kabla niongee na ndugu yangu nyagarama nilipompigia simu akasema ataningojea na kasema kabla uende kwa kanisa upitie kwangu ukule chakula na nilikuwa na delegation kubwa sana nikasema tuko watu saidi ya msini utatuweza akasema mupitie mimi na kavana wa nguvu na nilipitia huko mama alikuwa na kwa sababu alisema yeye ako mkristo kabisa na siku hiyo ilikuwa siku ya Jumamosi na siku ya Jumamosi yeye alikuwa anatenga iwe siku ya maombi na Jumapili akasema kwa sababu ni Jumamosi nitaruhusu wewe uende na mama katika hiyo harambe na mimi nitaenda kwa kanisa kwa hivyo alikuwa mtu ambaye alimheshimu Mwenyezi Mungu ndio kwa sababu wakati tukiwa na baraza letu na magavana yeye ndiye alikuwa na anatuombea anaomba tukianza na anaomba tukimaliza hata kama nyinyi mumempotesa na sisi kama magavana tumempotesa kabisa nataka nimuhakikishie deputy governor sisi tutakusaidia uendeleshe hii county ya Nyamira vile inatakikana tukusaidie watu wa Nyamira waendelee mbele vile mzee alikuwa anaendesha mambo yake This is this was a man with very few words a soft spoken man and if you are here and you feel this man you i think think twice the problem might be you because this was a very soft man who spoke very few words kwa hayo machache mungu awabariki